Assalamu alaikum guys, I hope that all of you will be in the best of health and mood. In previous video students, I have told you the translation and answer of blog question of unit number 12, 3 days to see. In today's video, we will discuss about uh, glossary word and the answer of exercise of unit number 12. First of all, we will discuss about uh, glossary words. First word is bark, drakht ki, chal. The outer covering of a tree, drakht ki, beruni, te. Birch, saru. A tree with smooth branches, ik naram shakhon wala, drakht. Chestnut, esase nidamat. To make someone feel sorry for what he has done. Kisi ko uske kiye par nidamat ka esas dilana. Doomed, lazman, fana hone wali. Certain to fail, suffer die etc yakini taur par nakam barbaad ya tabah hone wali inanimate bekaf ya bejaan not alive the way people animal or plants are is tarah zinda na hona jaise log janwar aur podhe hain mellow dheema become less extreme in behavior ravaiye mein kam sakht hona Pageant, Baronak, Manzariya Shandar, period. A series of interesting events, Dilchasp Vakyat ka ek silsila. Panorama, Manzar, a view of white area of land, Vasi alake ka Manzar. Shaggy, Nahamwar, having long and untidy hair, Lambe or Nahamwar, Balowala. Stroke, Nishan, a mark made by making a pen, brush, etc. Kalm ya brush vagara se banaya gaya, Nishan. Texture, Saakht, the feel of a fabric or substance. Kapde ya kisi, shayke, lumps ka ehsaas. Now students move to uh, the uh, questions of exercise. First question is, who was Helen Keller? Students, the answer of first question is Helen Keller was an American woman. She was left blind and deaf after an illness at the age of mere 19 months. Mere sirf. She was so courageous that despite her blindness, she graduated and wrote many books. She became a symbol of courage and success. Now guys, look at question number two. Describe the thought expressed by Arthur in the first paragraph. The answer is, she expresses her thought about the way to live life if we are to die the next day. She thinks that some would live it joyfully, some would live it with vigor and gentleness, but many would be chastened by impending death. Students, third question is, what makes you feel that the author is sad and depressed? And the answer is, she feels that the seeing sees little. She is depressed to feel that the seeing people do not give proper value to the blessings, beauty and attraction that nature has created for us. Students, fourth question is, how do you get an impression that Helen Keller was a great admirer of nature? And the answer is, she was a great admirer of nature as she described its beauty like a passionate poet of nature. The expressions like the refreshing air, velvety texture of flower, cool broke water, pine needles, sweet voices and loving faces etc. shows her admiration for nature. Now move to question number 5. People who are deprived of sight are not devoid of imagination. Discuss it, discuss it referring to the text. The answer is people deprived of sight are not devoid of imagination. The author of the lesson is blind but her views prove that she had great imagination. Now students look at the last question. To me the pageant of season is an unending drama comment. Students the answer is Helen believes that all the seasons are sensational, 
sensational mean uh, exciting uh, and cycle is everlasting and everlasting means uh, without ending they bring with them charm pleasure uh, curiosity delight and beauty helen keller realizes season through sense of touch and to her this charming feeling is everlasting students your task is to learn the english meaning of uh, glossary word and use these word in your own sentences and learn the answer of the uh, exercise question which i have told you now i hope you will uh, complete your task which i have assigned you now uh, we will meet in next video till then allah hafiz